What's going on everyone? It's Sean from All Things EV and happy 2019. If 2018 went by fast for you, it did for me as well. However, as I reflect back on all the things that I accomplished, I really do think that I maximized my year. I want to take a quick moment to look back at 2018. There were a lot of things that happened in 2018, not only in the EV world, but on this channel in particular, a lot of really unique experiences. And this video is going to cover some of the highlights that I think were really remarkable. So let's go ahead and jump in. First off, I was shocked to see that I created 94 videos in 2018. Not only that, but you all watch 6,851,325 minutes of my videos, which is, uh, <laughs> It's, it's, uh, it's a little concerning, actually, that you watch that much of my content, but still, <laughs> I'm appreciative. There were 1,496,553 views on my videos, and it's just this thing that I think is really, really cool, and um, again, I'm really thankful that in 2018, I saw 7,962 new net subscribers, which... So basically at the beginning of 2019, I had around 2,000 subscribers. Now I'm pretty close to 9,000. 32% of those 94 videos that I did were about the Model 3. So it's safe to say that 2018 was definitely the year of the Model 3 for this channel. What about Tesla reviews and first impressions? Well, first there was the Model X 100D. And I had a chance to review the Model 3 long range rear wheel drive, as well as the Model 3 Performance. And in September, to my surprise, I came across the Tesla semi truck where I gave you an up close and personal look at the prototype sitting at the back of the service center lot. And lastly, although it's not directly tied to Tesla, they are using Model X vehicles through the Boring Company tunnel. I got to attend that event in December, and though it is only a one-mile concept, still proves to be quite promising. How about accessory reviews? I had a chance to review RPM's Cubby, as well as a host of Evanex accessories, the trunk organizer, their Cubby, their middle console insert, and coat hooks. And lastly, I reviewed a Model 3 screen protector. And on to interviews, this is actually something that I'd like to do more of in 2019, which is give you a first-hand glimpse into the lives of some prominent YouTubers as well as Tesla proponents. But for 2018, I had a chance to sit down with Ben Sullins, Gally Russell, and Carissa Camden. Repairs. What type of repairs did I have last year? Well, I had a windshield replace, which if you remember, took several months to get remedied. I also had a door handle taken care of, some front suspension parts replaced, a parking brake wiring taken care of, and the big whopper was a battery replacement as well as, which I haven't, I don't think I've really talked a lot about um, towards the end of the year, I had some issues with a wiring to my headlight or daytime runner that I had taken care of. Let's not forget the Hypermile. Actually, it's two Hypermiles. The first time I made it 505 miles and the last time, which I did with Eric Street from the channel, Derek. And last but not least, other EV first impressions and reviews. The Audi e-tron, Jaguar I-Pace, or should I say Jaguar I-Pace, the Rivian R1T, Rivian R1S, and the Byton M-Byte. Now this is something that you can also expect a little bit more of in 2019, which is just to open it up a little bit more and cover some more EVs. Now the market is starting to heat up a little bit with other automakers who are producing some viable electric vehicles. I want to make sure and give you a first hand look at some of those. If you're an automaker and you're making one of these vehicles, I would love to be invited to any sort of press events that you do host and uh, give a review of your vehicle. So, so hit me up in the comments or send me an email and I would love to attend your event. 
There's a few things that are top of mind to me for this channel in 2019. Number one, I want to start getting into the audio side of things. So you can probably expect a podcast from me that will take all the video content that I've covered on YouTube, add some additional commentary, as well as talk about some of the things that are going on in the Tesla and EV space. The reason why I want to start a podcast is because there's a lot of people who spend a lot of time in their cars, myself included, and I can't watch videos while I'm driving, obviously, and so audio is a really, really great avenue for that. So get ready for that. I'm super excited about that, and I promise it won't be just a, a regurgitation of my video content on YouTube. I intend for this podcast to be a weekly Thing, and I think that I can sort of collect all this information and hopefully give you some value for when you're driving to work or on the subway or walking or working out. One of the other things that you'll see in 2019 is more coverage of things that have to do with renewable energies and energy storage. This market I predict will heat up as well and I want to be one of the first ones to cover that and give you an inside glimpse into that. And I'll probably start with Tesla's power pack because I know that there is a county here in Colorado that has already installed one and so I'd like to go there in person and give you a first-hand look at that. I want to wrap everything up by saying thank you for your support and attention. All nearly 7 million minutes watched of my videos. It's really appreciated. It doesn't go overlooked. Please, if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing because there's some exciting things to come. And if you are regular to my channel, thank you. And be sure to hit that like button. And I'll see everyone on the next video in 2019.